Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jeff, and in today's video, let's take a look at this beast right here. Yes, the Jirin Crane 3S is in town. This is my second gimbal from this company. The first one is actually the first version of Jirin Crane. Um, it was a revolutionary product because it was the only um, single hand lightweight gimbal that is designed for DSLR and mirrorless cameras. I loved it so much, I bought seven. Because I have a small production company in Taiwan and I wanted all my cameramen to have a June Queen. Um, that's how much I loved it. And a few years later, another revolutionary product from June. Why revolutionary? Because this is the only gimbal that can do this. Yes, this is a fully functional red with a mini mount battery, with a lens, with a follow focus, with a side handle, a top monitor and a top handle, and this is properly balanced. This is actually the only gimbal that can do this right now in the market, no matter how, no matter what brand, you know, the bigger one, the more professional ones, this is the only one that will accept a side handle from RED with no compromise. You know, you don't have to reverse mount the camera, you don't have to do all sorts of stuff, because a lot of cameras, uh, professional cameras, they do come with a side handle, especially the RED, because it has four nuts that you can, you have to unscrew and you have to cover it up if not a four screw, so it's a big hassle. I don't want to take, uh, take the side handle out every time I put on a gimbal, so this is the only one. I've tried many gimbals, nothing fits, right? Um, so let's talk about the key features of this gimbal. I apologize there's no footage because it has been raining for the past two weeks. The key feature number one of course is the payload. It can accept a 6.5 kg of payload. Um, if you don't know what that means, this red with this whole rig is 5.5 kg. So I seriously don't know what else you will need to put on this gimbal. Even though I have everything on this, I still have a roughly about 1.5 centimeter of uh, payload allowance. So that means you can actually go down and carry um, a bigger weight. So I think it can carry probably more than 6.5 kilograms. But um, 6.5 kg is definitely safe. And uh, also, uh, this is all possible because of this uh, extension arm over here. Um, this extension arm makes the containment of this gimbal so much bigger. What I would suggest Jirin to do is to come with a clamp that will accept a uh, quarter inch thread to put on counterweight over here. Second key feature of this gimbal is the locks. Uh, believe it or not, this is the first time I'm actually using a gimbal with locks and I love it. I can't go back. With a flick of uh, the key, it's locked in place, right? And I can do this to this game, this also. So, and I can actually go and tighten this even further. It's actually very, very sturdy. So, yes, I love the locks. The locks really makes a big difference. Also, the usability of this gimbal is very, very good. You have a lot of mounting options. Uh, I heard there's like eight mounting points on this gimbal, so you can definitely mount like your extension arm to fit a um, monitor or a microphone, whatever you need. And this handle is removable. You know, I can do this without even looking at it. See, it's very easy. And I can put it on without even looking at this too. My God, this is embarrassing. To be honest, the row axis is not properly balanced, as you can see. That's why I, also, I suggest a mounting bracket over here to, you know, to put counterweight. But uh, I have a solution for this. Like this. There you go, it's balanced now. Um, not perfectly balanced, but it is alright, all right? it's, uh, it's a little wobbly. For the best experience, I will suggest you taking this uh, handle out, of course, but uh, I'm just too lazy to unbolt for screws, so so let's see if this is uh, this works, alright? So, switch this on. And then, of course, it works, alright? And 
and uh, the mic is just here there's no sound from the motors which means it's it's pretty well balanced because of the way this gimbal's design is low to the ground uh, it's fully very firmly planted I have no worries that it's gonna tilt, uh, it's gonna fold over. So yes, this gimbal is really, really good. You can carry a lot of weight. You can carry a professional camera, but here is a little problem with this uh, gimbal. It's very, very good, right? But the ergonomics, mm, I haven't found a way to properly hold this, to be honest. So there will definitely be some third-party accessories or accessory from Zhiyun that will actually uh, carry this easily um, for example a dual handlebar or a ring I'm actually working with a third-party accessory company and I'll be showing you guys uh, some of the, the uh, setups or uh, third-party accessories for this, this gimbal so this is definitely not the only video about this gimbal I will be putting out more videos about this gimbal and how I use them and also the accessories for them so, so this is probably the only way to put this uh, handle against your shoulder to give it more stability and again do this now I haven't taken it outside to test the stability but um, I can be pretty sure that uh, Zhiyun probably has everything figured out by now so I'm sure the, the smoothness of stability is not gonna be an issue it's definitely gonna be uh, smooth enough right so I really don't know like what's the best way to hold this um, if I'm holding it like this, I really feel the strain on my arm, so um, I will definitely work out with this. The only problem I have with this gimbal is this part. There is no safety pin, so it's possible that you might drop your camera with this part together. So uh, I don't know why Jiren didn't design a safety pin on this, but it's also an easy fix with a uh, velcro there you go it's not going anywhere so so who is this gimbal for this is undoubtedly designed for professionals and movie sets because it can carry professional cinema cameras like the res the Arri alexa the c500 mark ii uh, fx9 earth mini so on and so forth and when this thing packs down it can actually fit in a regular camera backpack so it definitely has its own place even in big budget Hollywood movie productions. But if you're someone who shoots with DSLRs, mirrorless, this gimbal might be an overkill for you. To conclude this video, I think Jun has done it again with the 3S. I think this is a revolutionary gimbal. It's perfect for uh, individuals and production companies who shoot with professional cinema cameras. And this is the only gimbal that closes the gap between a consumer lightweight gimbal and a heavy duty professional super expensive gimbal. Uh, and I seven thirty nine dollars. I think this is a steal. Once the sky clears, I will take this rig outside, start shooting some test footage, and also I will show you how I rig this gimbal to make it more functional so if you don't want to miss those videos please remember to like and subscribe to my channel this is jeff and i'll see you in the next one peace